we're getting ourselves into position behind the buildings here. Okay. More damage is activated. 40% more damage. Wow, look at this Titan, dude. He went down so quick. Hold on, let's get ready for him. Boom, 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 boom. Wow. Holy smokes, man. Boom. <laughs> look at those rockets. Let's fire them in sequence. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, man, this is insane. Do, do, do. Okay, and increase damage. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Dude, this is so crazy. Now I'm the one here who's ready to do some killing. He's trying to get out of the 500 meters range. I'm activating an extra damage to walk a little closer to him. And boom, there he goes, man. Wow, how easily and how fast I just killed him. What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to this weekend's test server session with a new Titan. You see it here, the Sharenga. It is a, the first Titan in the game that utilizes three alpha weapons, so the heavy weapons, in this case, Gendarme, but you could also go with Tsar, and you like, you know how much I like firing the double Tsar on the Ao Ming. Now that would be three of them. And uh, also, another thing, in yesterday's video, in case you didn't notice or ha have missed that, I explained the early stats. I thought this thing might get three assault slots. And uh, I was right, look at this. It gets three assault slots and a universal. I thought maybe it gets to get carry three antimatter reactor, but they went with four. You can actually put four times antimatter reactor on this Titan. So you have highest firepower in terms of weapon setup. You have absolutely highest firepower in terms of module slots uh, because you just can't go full on damage output and then you have the full power ability that increases the damage output of the titan by 40 percent for th three seconds and they can do that every 10 seconds so you reload your weapons you boom out right and then you reload and you boom out all the damage output we're getting more than two, uh, uh, you know, more than 100 additional percent of damage with all modules and this. Much more than that, because mo every module can have 70, 27 percent damage output, and you can have four of those. All right, so that's already more than 100 and something percent, and then the 40 percent, Jesus, that's insane. Okay. Uh, also, furthermore, we're testing the new, finally, with a new design skin, uh, the Orochi robot. That's also a brand new one. We have four setups ready. And the point of this video, of course, is to test the brand new Titan. So we're going to try and get there as fast as possible. Um, you know, why are drones a thing? Whoa, okay, normally drones aren't in the test server. But now, finally, for the first time, we see the real skin of the Orochi, which looks pretty, pretty cool. It's a very fast robot with stealth. Uh, guys, for those who mi- Whoa, that's that looks not right. <laughs> Skating on the- on Rome here. Ah, okay, now we're back at walking. So yeah, guys, if you've missed the video from, uh, from the Orochi, in the top right corner or the video description, you get the link. And also, uh, I'm pretty sure many of you haven't seen this one with a brand new uh, weapon uh, incinerator on the behemoth. Also linked in the video description and pinned comment for you guys. Here we go. I should be able to deal some nice damage to him. Because I'm actually running quantum radar. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, wow, I dropped him down to last stand already. That was nice. That was a pretty nice move right there. So let's get that Titan meter f filled up. All right. He's trying to get into another ability run, but that's not going to happen, is it? Whoa, he just almost dropped me down, dude. He almost dropped me down entirely. What do we have here? All right, it's something where we can do a lot of damage. And we are stealthed right now. We're fast. I don't know why he's firing empty his weapons. My friend, this is not a good idea. You shouldn't be firing empty your weapons uh, just because, you know, uh, I'm in front of you. Because chances are you may not hit me very well. And here, we're quantum radaring now. So in case he starts to stealth, I still got him. And the Titan is ready. So, boom, deploying the new Sharanga. <laughs> Look at that! All right, so... Boom, boom, boom. All right, so that was the, the ability with 30 percent, uh, 40% more damage. Okay, and then we can, we have the phase exile ability that will allow us to uh, delete basically an enemy robot from the battlefield. Three, two, one, 40% more damage. Boom, boom, boom. Jesus, look at this beast. Look at this beast, guys. This is like an, uh, um, a, you know, a uh, behemoth on steroid right there, dude. In, except for it has only three weapons, but man Boom there he goes. All right, so now we're getting ourselves into position behind the buildings here Okay More damage is activated 40% more damage. Wow. Look at this Titan dude. He went down so quick. 
Now he realized that he was being hit by another uh, Titan. I'm reloading my weapons, I'm recharging my ability, and then I'm activating both and boom, 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 boom. And then I could face. Okay, look, look, now I did the phase shift thing. See, he's slowed and he's phase shift. That's the phase exile. He cannot be damaged at this moment. Hold on, I need to recharge my weapons. And then boom, 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 boom. And if he gets too close to me, I can just exile him. But you notice that my weapons aren't fully hitting often? I think there's a little bug in the th in the game that my, uh, my weapons aren't really scoring good hits. Hold on, let's be ready for him. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, instant death. Oh no. Okay, that was a way too fast match. Okay, let's do Tsar. We've tested the uh, the gendarme. Now we're going with Tsar. It only has six, three, uh, 500 meters range, but I think it packs more of a punch. So let's go and do this. Back into the match. And don't forget, we have a 200 meta robot giveaway coming up within the next days. So stay tuned for that as well. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. There's a Hellburner right there. They're both not really a threat to me at this point, so I'm just letting them shoot me. There's not really a problem. My redeemers simply go right through the freaking uh, energy shields right there. And here, what is that? What robot is this? I don't know what that is. I should be able to do quite a bit to the enemy. Quite a bit more than I'm doing right now. Okay, quantum radar is running. I almost got him. Oh, he did a lot of damage to me in these sh two seconds where uh, where I didn't have my stealth. Uh, he's still on me though. He's still on me. He's got an enemy right underneath him. All right, let's drop him down with with overdrive. All right, nice. Doing double damage is really bad for these dudes. Wow, we have the Titan ready, by the way. We should probably go and switch over to that Titan. But I'm just having so much fun deleting these guys here. Look at how I, what I'm doing to them. Jeez. Oh, I have an enemy right behind me. Okay, I didn't, I didn't even notice that. Okay, now I have stealth uh, quantum radar going. <laughs> and then I'm dead. All right, so switching into our Titan here. Uh, the only thing is that this, although it has more firepower than the Ao Ming, I'm sure, uh, it's not. It doesn't have the flight ability. The Ao Ming has the big advantage of having a flight ability that allows you to, um, you know, to simply fly and have a much better uh, angle on the battlefield. You can fire at anybody. You can see them much better. And I'm gonna try and get him. Boom! Bye. <laughs> Vooge! Boom! Wow! Okay, he's coming closer. 40% damage. Boom! Wow, man! Boom! Okay, this, this the next shot is already without the damage boost. Only the first shot actually receives the damage boost on the Tsar. You can only fire one shot with increased damage, really. Only one single shot. Here he comes. Boom! But one of my weapons was stuck on the wall. Holy smokes, man. Boom! <laughs> Look at those rockets! Let's fire them in sequence. Boom! 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 Oh, come on! Now? Now they shifted me. Boom! 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 <laughs> oh, man, this is insane! Do, do, do! Okay, and increase damage. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that. Dude, this is so crazy. Yo, that guy has zero chance right there, man. He gets completely deleted. Voosh. Oh, that was a nice hit. Oh, yeah, they're making him... Look, they're making him invincible from the damage uh, with the uh, sh phase shift thing, with the phase exile. You can allow enemies to live longer with this. Boom. What the flip? That was almost a one-hit kill. And then four times antimatter reactor. That is 27% increased damage each when you have the max on the life server. 
How much is that? 30, 60, 100, 115% damage or something like this. Just from the four passive modules. Then the 40%, so you're like at 150 or so. Uh, cannons. I'm not even joking. Those things are actually one of the most dangerous in terms of DPM, or damage per second, rather, if you're fully charged. Those things rock among the highest firepower in the game. Once we have the accelerated damage output going. Okay, he just started his uh, his ability, but that's okay, because I am in safety. And actually, look, I can do this now. What is that going to do now? Now he's not going to fire. Look, he isn't going to fire with his weapons. What the heck? I totally screwed him over. He was going to fire with his built-in weapons there, and he wouldn't. He didn't do it. Uh-oh, we have a Minos Titan coming in. Come on, Minos. Do your little thing. Okay, increase damage output rolling. I'm not sure if he's got the reflector going. Now he's got it going, and you see we're doing damage to ourselves. Behind me is a scorpion. Oh, and I'm I'm actually uh, in shift right now. Wow, in these two seconds I almost killed him there. Okay, so. This guy is getting really annoying at this point. Increased damage going. Come on! I just activated my increased damage. Oh man, this is. They, they really play well right there. They're playing incredibly good. I have to get here behind the cover. And again, they did it! They. You know, you know what's devastating about this is that they stop my accelerated firing state. Every time they do this, they stop my accelerated firing so where's state. Where's the hawk that just flew here? Yep, you just missed your shot, bro. bro. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, pretty sure he wanted to get me, uh, oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, hello. Hello, guys. Uh, I have, uh, the quantum send, uh, the overdrive running right now, so double damage is currently kicking in. This guy has been flying, oh, well, actually, he isn't, e he isn't even flying, he's just sitting up there. I didn't even know you could be there! That is cool, that's a nice position there, friend. Never seen anybody being up there. Boom. 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 And almost gotten him. Ah! But that already brought me the Titan. Jeez. Okay. That's a quick Titan deploy. I guess we're going with the Titan immediately then. Alright, here comes the, uh, the guy. Already did a lot of damage on him. Okay, look at him. Look at him going. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, I should be having some fun with him from here. Why is he not- Oh, he's behind a wall now. Okay. I didn't see that. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. But this is a pretty cool position. He knows exactly that I'm currently in, um, thing mode, but now I'm activating double damage here on him. Or 40% increased damage. And he goes down, like, instantly. Wow. I was able to slow him down. Did you see that? It was really cool. I think I'm safe here from the enemy rockets. Uh, not rockets, from the enemy laser weapons. Nothing in range. Everybody is at five, four, 500 and something. Except this guy. Yo, he's going down. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what you were thinking there, friend, but that hasn't worked out very well for you. Well, uh, oh, look, I just deactivated his ability. He jumps up, and then I deactivated his ability. Let's finish him real quick. And then go for him with the increased damage. Okay, never mind. He deactivates my firepower. But now I'm the one here who's ready to do some killing. He's trying to get out of the 500 meters range. I'm activating an extra damage to walk a little closer to him. And boom! There he goes, man. Wow, how easily and how fast I just killed him. Crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh, no, he's behind cover. He's getting hit. He's getting hit a lot. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. He does the right thing. He walks into safety and activates the, the shield, basically. The, the thing that will uh, prevent me from doing any further damage. Okay, here we go. Three heavy weapons firing at him. Three alpha machine guns. 
and then I'm reloading. Sup, Manny Gaming? Hey, how's it going, buddy? A extra damage rocking. Jump, and I shifted him down so he can no longer do, do the flying thing. I would like to also get in cover, Angry Gremlin. I would also like to get some cover from time to time. Uh, but since you're standing there making sure there's no possibility for me to get there. All right, here we go with, um, with a Fenrir on the ground. All right, we have an enemy um, Orochi coming in. Whoop, it's sub Manny Gaming. <laughs> I have him uh, currently, he's in, high, uh, in stealth, but I think that just was both of his stealth abilities. I cannot aim at him. I can't aim at him. I can't aim at him. Now I can. It wouldn't allow me to aim at him just a second ago. That was weird. Oh, hello. T another target right in front of me. Look how fast they die. Here again. Increased damage is rocking and boom. There he goes. Oh, <laughs> Dude, this is so crazy. The machine guns are... If you get in range to use them... Like, seriously, they are the number one damage dealer then. Uh, but overall, in most situations, I think it's probably more useful to have uh, the Tsar. Um, or, instead of Tsar, having uh, the Gendarme. I think this Gendarme with 600 meter range is probably going to be uh, the best option here. On the long run. Because you can survive much better. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I make him invincible now. Which is unfortunate, because now you can screw with your teammates, right? The Ao Ming also does not that far away in terms of damage. Doesn't have the 40% uh, boost, and it doesn't have the 4th Assault slot, or the ability to equip 4 uh, modules um, with uh, damage output increase. Uh, but you have this better this better angle on the battlefield. So yeah, this was the test of a video with the new Sharanga Titan. Uh, we will probably see a lot more in the future with this. Uh, but again, don't forget to check out this, uh, this Incinerator Behemoth video where I jump around freely and have some fun. And also, uh, if you want to see more of this setup here, or uh, this uh, robot with different setups, also linked down in the thing. Uh, the Titan is really cool. It's incredibly powerful. Um, now the hangar is lit properly wonderful uh, it looks really nice the only thing is you don't have this angle of view like the Ao Ming has so there are often situations where you might not be able to have somebody that you can shoot on right where the Ao Ming still has a better angle but however the Ao Ming can be shot back too and um, yeah so tell me what you think about the Sharanga it doesn't seem completely overpowered to me I think any Minos Titan will just come in and and destroy him relatively quickly um, yeah, so let's see how this goes, right? Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, consider doing this now. Uh, there will be a giveaway coming within the next uh, within the next days. All right, so see you guys in the next one. Money being off. Bye-bye.